Hey what's up guys this is Jonas and in this video I want to show you how to find the union of two arrays in C++ and as you might remember union is you have two arrays and you just find need to find the, all the unique numbers from those two arrays combined so you can't have any duplicates so let's get to it so the first thing that we want to do we want to go to our main and we're going to create a integer to store the size of the first array so let's assume our first array is going to be four elements long then we're going to create an integer array and we're going to call it ARR1 stands for array1 and it's going to have a size of one uh, I mean the size one which is four so this array is going to have four numbers and we're going to manually initialize them so let's say we have two we have four six and nine now let's create another size variable and let's say our second array is going to have six elements and we're going to call it array two with the size two which is six so now let's say as as you remember union is when you have two arrays and each array has numbers the union represents all of those numbers but without duplicates so you can't have the same number twice or thrice in your union array the result so union is pretty much all of your unique numbers in both of your arrays so let's assume this one has two three seven six zero and nine so that's six numbers then to do the array uh, to do the union array let's create another function and it's gonna be void and let's call union uh, find union and we're gonna pass four things in it we're gonna pass the size of the first array we're gonna pass the array one we're gonna pass the size of the second array and we're gonna pass the second array itself that's our function prototype the function definitions down here <clears throat> so for this one there's many ways of approaching it and the way that I'm gonna show you is the naive way of doing it there is definitely more efficient ways of finding the union and my advice if you want more efficient way sort your arrays first and find the smallest one and assign the smallest the size of the smallest array to your union set but for this one, what we're going to do, we're going to take the first array, we're going to take all the numbers from the first array, and we're going to put it in our union array. And since we don't know how many unique numbers we're going to have, I think it's going to be better if we use vectors instead of array so we can push numbers. So to do that, we're going to go up there and we're going to include the vector library and let's create a integer vector to do that you type vector arrow and want it want we want it to be integer vector and let's call it a union set because it's going to represent our union so the first thing that we're going to do we're just going to copy everything from the first array into the union set so we know the size of the first array so we're going to do size one plus plus so the idea is we're going to copy everything from the first array into the union set then we're going to go through every number in array 2 and we're going to compare it to the our union set so if the number from the array 2 doesn't exist in the union set we're going to add it if it does exist we don't want the duplicate so we're not going to add it so the first thing we're just going to add all the numbers into the uh, vector to do that you just need to do the name of the vector push back parentheses and the number that you're trying to push into the vector and in our case we want to add all the numbers from the array one so right now our vector has all the numbers from the array one now we want to go through every number in array two so we're going to use size c instead and what we have to do now we need to compare every single number from the array 2 to 
numbers that we have in the union set. And if we don't have that number, we're going to add it. To do that, we're going to create a bool, and we're going to call it duplicate equals false. Then we're going to create for loop, and we need to use a different variable, so it's going to be j0, while j is less than, and we need to compare it to the size of the union set, so it's going to be union set dot size j plus plus. All right, so we're going to compare each number from the array to to the union set. So we're going to use if array to number at position i equal equal to union set dot at. You need to use dot at since it's vector. Or you can use bracket as well, but I prefer this one. And j. So if this evaluates to true, that means there's a duplicate. So we're going to set the duplicate to true. Then after we're done checking all the numbers, all we have to do, we need to check if, if the duplicate is still false. So if not duplicate, duplicate, um, we're going to add the number into the union set. So we're going to do union set dot push back array to bracket j and that's it now if you want to display your union all you have to do you need to loop through your vector so we're going to loop whatever the size of the union set is dot size and we're going to do c out union set at and i and let's add common between numbers so the last thing that we need to do we need to call this function in the main so find union we pass size 1 array 1 size 2 array 2 let's build and run this Okay, so I made a typo. This is, has to be lowercase k. All right. And, uh, okay, and another mistake. On this one, it needs to be array to i, not j. All right, let's see. So the first thing that happened, we copied every, th every number from array 1 into the vector. So we got 2, 4, 6, 9. Then what happens is we go through each number in array 2 and compare if we already have it. If not, it's going to add it to the vector. So see, it compared 2. So since we already have 2, we don't want to add it. We want to add only unique ones. So it ends up adding 3, 7, and 0. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.